opponent, Master Pillow. We will meet again. Who's ready for a yummy surprise? <laughs> Kitty Natty Ninja Cats are always ready for surprises. Ta-da! Oh! Popped Peppy Peppers? <laughs> Looks like my fourth favorite snack. After, of course, Fishy Poof Crackers, Fishy Poof Crackers with Zesty Cheese, and Limited Edition Extra Light Poof Fishy Poof Crackers. Hold it. Popped Peppy Peppers? Check. Suzuni juice balls? Check. Bendy straws? Uncheck? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. And check. There. Everything's ready for the sleepover. Okay, back to snacking. <laughs> Oh, bendy straws. I feel like a princess. <laughs> you never know when a real princess might show up. I'm here. Griselda. <laughs> it wouldn't be a party without you. I know. Where's Fruki? Fruki Kids is right here. for an ice-cold Zazuni juice? Yes, please. But what do you happen to have? A bendy straw? So thoughtful of you, True. Hello, party people. So far, so good. Everything's going just as planned. Now we're just waiting on the Rainbow King. That must be him now. Welcome, Rainbow King. Huh? Your Majesty? Well, uh, oh. <laughs> a lovely lavender evening to you, True and Bartleby. I'm so excited about your sleepover. I was just making sure I didn't forget anything important. Like my blankie, or my pillow, or, uh, hmm. Oh, hey, if you need a toothbrush, I got lots. Oh, there's my tail cleaning brush. I was looking for that. Works like a charm. And I found my gum. Bubble chew. Mmm. You want some? Ew! No thanks. No, it's not a toothbrush. I've got one of those. Oh, what could it be? Don't worry, Your Majesty. We've got everything you could possibly need. Purple persimmons! True, your particular predisposition to planning is perfection personified. What he said! Thank you, Rainbow King. Please, come in! Rainbow King, welcome! <laughs> Well, that's it. Everybody's here. Check. Next up, party time! <laughs> remember what I forgot to remember. My Moo Moo. I always have my Moo Moo with me at bedtime. Moo Moo? That's not on my list. Can you sleep without it? Well, it has helped me sleep every night for the last three or four hundred million years. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I'll just count little help <laughs> until I fall asleep. One, two, three, four, Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Six. Wait. Oh, I 
skip one. I'll start over. One, two. Rainbow King, do you want me to get your moo moo for you? It's no problem. Goodness, greenness, no. We'd have to go all the way to the royal greenhouse for my moo moo. That is pretty far to go. Uh, not to worry, True. I'll fall asleep soon. Okay. If you need anything, just ask. Good night, Rainbow King. Good night, True. Oh, blue bother. I mustn't keep everyone awake. I really don't like using sleeping spells. I, well, I can't remember why, uh, but maybe just this once. Starry Blue, help me snooze. <sighs> I'm feeling snoozy already. <laughs> oh. Lovely summer rain, so refreshing. Bartleby, you're talking in your sleep again. So are you. <sighs> Fruki, you're flying! Huh? What? <laughs> True! Look out! <laughs> What's going on? <gasps> Fruki kittens? Fruki! Oh, Fruki, welcome! Okay, Fruki Snuggles. You're safe with me now. Yes, you are. I definitely didn't plan for this. They're sleep floating. Fascinating. I've read about it. I never thought I'd see it in person. We should pull them down. No, don't touch him. If you do, you'll sleep float too. Can we wake them up? Guess not. Well, we can't just let them float around bumping into things. We need some rope. Or string. Or a butterfly net. Or a string. Or a super long straw. Oh. Or, or string. string. Good work, little helpers. Wait, where's the Rainbow King? He's there, going out the window. <laughs> Rainbow wake King, up, please wake, wake up! up. Wake up! Wake up! We need to catch up to him and wake him up. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Sorry to wake you, Cumulo, but we've got to go save the Rainbow King. Oh, wait. I forgot to get changed. Um, do we need to get changed, too? Nope. Keep your PJs on. <laughs> We're still having a sleepover. I've just got to be ready for action. Good idea. Can you two take Griselda and Fruki back inside? <laughs> Thanks, little helpers. down. Something sticky. This is sticky? Um, no thanks. And we need something loud to wake everyone up. If he wakes up too suddenly, maybe everyone will fall down. Right. I didn't think of that. So, uh, pillows! But everyone's still floating, so we do need something sticky. Tape? Glue! No. Hair gel. <laughs> Ugh. Z, we need wishes. You're right. We do need wishes, but sit and have a think. <sighs> but 
Okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? Well, we don't know what will happen if we wake up the Rainbow King suddenly. The other sleep floaters might wake up too. And then fall down. So we'll have to bring everyone down safely first. Good thinking, True. And when everyone is down safely, we'll gently wake up the king and he can break the spell. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> <laughs> gathering everyone and keeping them safe and sound. <laughs> Next wish is Woe Glow. Woe Glow! Woe Glow is a light wish. More exactly what we need on a dark night. <laughs> and for your last wish, Poingy, the bouncing wish. Poingy, Poingy. Poingy is great at bouncing on its own. <laughs> yeah, it's a cat thing. It's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> or you can jump onto it to bounce extra high. I'm not sure how a bouncing wish can help, but I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We've got to go save the Rainbow King. <laughs> I have an idea. Take us down to the park, please, Cumulo. <laughs> Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Snuggly. Wish come true. Ready, Snuggly? Snuggly. A lullaby makes Snuggly a magnet for anyone who's asleep, right? That's right. Well, let's get humming. It's working. King put Snuggly to sleep. Snuggly's losing its power. Oh, no. Rainbow King! We need to do something, or he'll float away with everyone. That would not be good. I can barely see him now. Huh? Who could be calling at this hour? <gasps> Rainbow King! Oh, no. He must have pocket bubbled me. Wake up, Rainbow King! Wake up, please! It's no use. Oh, Rainbow King, if only you could tell us what's wrong. Oh, Momo. Even just a clue. Momo. Two word phrase. You know, that points us in the right direction. Momo. Yeah, like that. Momo. That's what's wrong. Rainbow King always has his moo moo at bedtime. And he can't settle down without it. That's why he's sleep floating. We've been doing it all wrong. 
instead of waking him up, we need to help him have a good night's sleep. Of course. More sleep is the answer to our sleep problem. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. All we have to do is get Rainbow King his Moo Moo. Cumulo! Come on, Bartleby. What? Go, go, Cumulo! To the Rainbow Castle! On a scale of one to dark? This is dark. How are we gonna find our way? I mean, I don't have that cat's can see in the dark thing. It's always been a great disappointment to me. I remember my mother once. Bartleby? She... Oh, sorry. Time for my second wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wish come true. You're up, whoa, whoa. Rainbow King said his moo-moos in the royal greenhouse. This way. Here's the greenhouse. Hmm, maybe the moo-moo is some kind of plant. But there's got to be millions of them. How are we going to know which one is which? Fortunately, every plant is clearly labeled. All right, let's go look for the moo-moo plant. Okay, moo-moo plant, uh, moo-moo plant. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's not this one. True! Wait for me! Not this one. It's not this one either. Or this one. <laughs> Maybe it's that viney one over there. Nope, not over here. Where is it? Hmm. Ah! Guys, look! Is that the Rainbow King? He's floating way too far. We need to find that Moo Moo fast. Oh, we've just looked everywhere, and there's nothing. Nothing but this giant flower pot. <gasps> This must be it! True, shine the light over here. It's the Moo Moo plant. The fruit of the Moo Moo plant gives off a soft glow and a gentle hum that is helpful for sleeping. So, where's the fruit? Way up there! Now I understand why the wishing tree gave me Poingy. Here, Z, can you hold Woglo? It's time for my third wish. <laughs> Wish come true! Okay, Poingy, let's bounce. Poingy! Ready? Let's bounce, bounce, bounce! Go, Poingy, go! Higher, Drew, higher! It's just out of reach! Ugh. How are we gonna get it, True? I've got an idea. Bartleby, I need some kitty natty help. I see where you're going with this, True. Let's try this again, Poingy. Uh, ready, set. Okay, Bartleby, it's Ninja Time! Oh, I'm a cat. Nice work, Bartleby. I'm very proud of myself. Thanks for your help, Poingy. Poingy! You too, Woglo. <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Okay, let's bring the Rainbow King his Moo Moo. Come on, Cumulo. There he is! This will be tricky. If Rainbow King touches me and makes me sleep float, it's up to you two to save the Rainbow Kingdom. Ha! No pressure! Rainbow King! I have your moo moo! <laughs> the Rainbow King isn't sleep floating anymore! His moo moo must have broken the spell! <gasps> and look! The sleep floaters are floating back home to their beds. We did it! Woohoo! We did it! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Snuggly. 
You were super helpful. Mm. Tuck yourself back in the pack now. <sighs> Let's go home. I'm sleepy. Sleepy? But we're just getting started. We just saved this whole town. Let's celebrate! <laughs> Phew, what a night. My sleepover didn't exactly go as planned. Yeah, but you saved the kingdom, True. You're my hero. <laughs> and don't forget, we still have nimble berry pancakes to enjoy in the morning. You're right. This was a pretty good sleepover after all. Just for you. Thanks for saving everyone in Rainbow City. And you, you remembered how much I love bendy straws. Oh, thank you, True, for bringing my moo moo. Aww. Thanks, everyone. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Bartleby, you've got to try some. Mmm. Best pancakes. Mm. Ever. Mm, so delicious. Mm. Where's Cumulo? It's such a perfect day for flying. You're right, True. I love feeling the wind in my fur. Personally, Bartleby, I love the feeling of wind in my face. Yeah. I think it's time for our fantastic to go free falling loop and scoop. Let's do this. <laughs> You're the best, Cumulo. Yeah. You're right. Rainbow City does look extra pretty today, Cumulo. Wow, this is spectacular. Wouldn't it be great if everyone in Rainbow City could see the view from up here? Well, that reminds me. I'm working on a special surprise for everyone in Rainbow City. You made a giant fishy poof cracker? Ah, oh, thanks, True. Although, you know, if I ate the giant fishy poof cracker by myself, I would beat the world record, and then there wouldn't be enough left for the rest of the town, so I guess you really didn't think this thing through, True. Actually, I'm making something way better than that. It's just up ahead. <laughs> What is it? It's my fantastically fabulous boaty float. Oh, I get it. It's a boat that floats. Yup, way up in the sky. I'm building it so everyone can see the Rainbow Kingdom the way we see it. Just like when we fly with you, Cumulo. <laughs> I just need to finish a few last details. Need some help? It's okay, I got this. Oh, great. Well, I've got something I gotta finish too. Hello, fishy poof crackers. <laughs> oh, this is good. Mm. <laughs> it's okay. I got this. Hiya! <laughs> it's okay. I got this. Whoa! One ways to eat a fishy poof cracker. That's a world record, you know. Nailed it. So, what do you think? Well, I think I could have gone for 102, but. Uh, oh, why not? I'm going for 102. Be right back. <laughs> okay, but don't take too long. We're ready to launch. Hi, True. Hi, Mila. Hey, Rocky. Is that your boaty float? Can we ride it? Can we? 
You bet. You'll be our very first passengers. <laughs> <laughs> so how does this floaty go floaty? It's easy. First, I need to spin the left balancer. <laughs> then, the right balancer. <laughs> and then, I just need to lift the lifter to get you way up high. <laughs> and that's when I put on the safety brake so the boaty float doesn't fly away. Oh, okay. Well, let's go for a ride. Come on, Rocky. Prepare for liftoff. Left balancer, go. <laughs> this is a little tight. It's okay, Cumulo. I can do it myself. I'm gonna need my spanner, though. <laughs> Just apply a little pressure. Oh, there we go. Now for the right balancer. Go! <laughs> oh, Bartleby! Just in time. Watch this. Lifting the lifter. Now! Wow, your floaty float is really floaty, True. Yep, just as I planned. <laughs> I've never seen a Bodhi float like this before, but as far as Bodhi floats go, yours is the Bodhi floatiest. Thanks, Bartleby. This is awesome! <laughs> Look at it go! Hmm, that's a little higher than I thought it would go. Yeah, and it keeps going higher and 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 higher! I forgot the safety break! Instead of got it, don't got it. This is the best ride ever. You installed the get back down button, right, True? Actually, no, Bartleby, I didn't. So how are we gonna bring Mila and Rocky back down? We just need Cumulo to fly up there and get them. Cumulo! Oh, Cumulo! Oh, Cumulo! Oh, that's weird. Cumulo always shows up when you call. We'd better go look for her. Cumulo! Excuse me, have you seen Cumulo? Yeah, a oh, uh, white fluffy cloud about, um, this big? Hmm, a white fluffy cloud about that big, you say? Well, there's something in the bushes that matches that description. <laughs> yeah, that could be Cumulo, I guess. Thanks for your help. Come on, Bartleby. Cumulo! <laughs> Why are you hiding? Woohoo! Oh, true! Oh, wow! The body float is so amazing! We're having so much fun! Hi, guys. Well, it sure sounds like they're having a lot of fun out there. We still need to get the body float down in case something goes wrong. Mila and Rocky are in trouble, and we need to get up to the body float. Can you fly us up there, Cumulo? <laughs> Did Cumulo get smaller? Did we get bigger? Something's different. <laughs> hmm, maybe you can't fly us up there after all. <laughs> Cumulo, don't go! Whoa, she's really getting small. And she's raining. I've never seen her do that before. Neither have I. But lucky for you, you've got those awesome yellow boots. This is serious, Bartleby. We need wish help. To the wishing tree. But how are we going to get there without Cumulo? You're not going to like this, Bee. We're going to have to use our feet. <laughs> True, that's hilarious. You're funny. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Ready, B? On your mark, get set, go! Hey, wait for me! Yeah! We should have taken the bus! I don't think the bus goes to the wishing tree. Yeah, we should talk to the Rainbow King about that. There it is! Finally! Now we just have to make our way to the top. 
should be easy. We made it. Not quite, Bartleby. Hey, we're here. Uh, almost. This has got to be the top. Just a little bit further now. <sighs> we did it, Bartleby. I'm proud of us. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks, Drew. V, we need wish help. True, Bartleby. What happened? My Bodhi float flew away with Mila and Rocky on it. And Cumulo started raining and, and shrinking. And then Cumulo ran away, but we found her. And then we couldn't fit on her, and then she tipped over and... We had to walk here, and I can hardly... Breathe. <sighs> Good idea. Okay, let's sit and have a sink. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? First, we need to get Mila and Rocky safely back to the ground. They're stuck on the Bodhi float. But the problem is, I can't get it back down without Cumulo. What happened to Cumulo? Cumulo shrank super small. As small as us? And she ran away. So we need to find Cumulo and bring Mila, Rocky, and my Bodhi float back to safety. Wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree, share with me. See what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up is Floto. Floto! Amazing! It's a bubble wish that can float you as high up as you need to go. Perfect! We need to go as high as the Bodhi float, please. Floto! This is Zumi, a telescope wish. Zumi! Zumi can help you see tiny objects that are far away. Like tiny little Cumulo. Welcome aboard, Zumi. It's easy to see you'll be a huge help. <laughs> zoom, zoom, Zumi! I've been waiting for this one. This is Squashy, one of the rarest wishes of all. Squashy's so small. I think we might need Zumi to see it. Squashy! Aw, Squashy's so cute. Is your wish power to look adorable? Yes, cute and mini, but also mighty. Don't be fooled by its size. Squashy is super powerful. Through the process of wishmosis, Squashy can soak up lots of water and then squeeze it back out through its porous epidermis. In other words, Squashy can squish. Yes, exactly. Just remember to shout, Squashy, squish. I'm sure all your wishes will be a big help. I can't wait to see you in action. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my path. Good luck, True. Thanks, Z. Come on, Bartleby. Let's go find Cumulo. Thank you, Wishing Tree. We'd better get up there before something goes wrong. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Floto. Wish come true. Floto, we need to get up to the Bodhi float. <laughs> Bubble us up, Floto.
All these clouds look the same to me. Which one are Mila and Rocky hiding in? I don't know, but they've got to be around here somewhere. Ugh, I'm so bored! Dude! <laughs> what is this thing, anyway? Floto. Time to pop back into my pack. Okay, this is the last place we saw Cumulo when she was crying. Hey, look, Drew! Bubbles! These must be cloud tears! Bartleby! Cumulo must have gone this way! Let's go! The trail stops here. Where are you? I don't think we'll ever find her. We've looked everywhere. Don't cry, True. We'll find a way. You always do. Oh, well, thanks, B, but I'm not crying. A raindrop? Cumulo must be close. I know, but where? She must have shrunk down so small that we can't see her. But maybe there's a way we can find her. Time for my second wish. Zip tap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Zoomy. <laughs> wish come true. Hi, Zoomy. Can you help us find Cumulo? She's somewhere up in this tree. Zoomy. Let's expand on that. <laughs> what do you see, True? Uh, see anything? Nothing yet. Just a lot of leaves. <gasps> Cumulo! There you are! Thanks, Zoomy. I've got it from here. Back in the pack, please! <laughs> I'm glad you're safe, but please don't hide, Cumulo. I need you. I know I didn't ask for your help with the Bodhi float. It's just... Sometimes I think I can do things all by myself. That's how I am. But I was wrong. I'm sorry, Cumulo. I always need your help. Yeah, me too. We missed you, Cumulo. <laughs> Come on, Cumulo. That's it. I can't get the Bodhi float down and save Mila and Rocky without you. <laughs> Cumulo, and quick! Mm. What's the plan, True? I have one wish left. Squashy. <laughs> How's Squish Power gonna help Cumulo? I think I might have an idea, but we're going to have to find some water. Are you ready, Cumulo? Uh -huh. It's time for my third wish. Okay, Squashy. Let's get squishy with it. <laughs> Birding you. Whoa, that's a lot of water, Squashy. <laughs> squishy. Okay, Squashy. Now come over here to where Cumulo is. That's it. Nice and easy. Okay, Squashy. Squish! Cumulo! Mm. It's so good to have you back to normal. You look better than ever. Thanks for your help, Squashy. 
Cumulo. Well, True, it looks like we saved the day again. I except, um, the Bodhi float is broken. C can you fix it, True? I can, with the help from someone special. <laughs> File, please. Enjoy the ride. Keep your hands within the balloon rails at all times. Next, okay. Yeah. Sorry, little helpers, but you've got to be at least this tall to ride. <laughs> well played. All aboard! <laughs> How's it looking, Chu? Almost ready, B. Just need to do one last thing. <laughs> okay, Cumulo. You've got this. <laughs> Tonight. 
No, you don't. Cuz I planned your whole party. Really? Yep, it's my gift to you. I'm going to make sure you have the most amazing birthday ever. You won't have to do a single thing today, True. Oh, B, you're the best. I know, but we've got some serious birthdaying to do. Let's get going. It's my birthday. Ready for a treat? I made something extra special. Guess what it is? <laughs> it's you! Yeah! I call them Bartle Biscuits. I got the idea from the mirror. <laughs> hmm, which part should I eat first? My ears, of course. Good choice. Hey, this kind of tastes like strawnilla. <gasps> Are we having strawnilla cake at my party? You'll have to wait and see. With wiggly jiggly jelly and bubble chew icing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as your best friend, I of course knew you'd want all those different flavors together. It's definitely not just a basic mellowberry cake. Aw, uh -huh, Bee. You know me so well. Can I borrow your face bubble thingy for a non-birthday emergency? Sure. Here, have another Bartle biscuit. Try eating it as loud as you can. Uh, loud enough? Griselda, answer my face bubble. Griselda, we have a birthday emergency. <gasps> you ran out of glitter balloons? No, we need to change the mellowberry cake into a straw nilly wiggly jiggly jelly bubble chew icing cake. Oh, that's no problem. Baking isn't hard. All you need is a princess's delicate touch. Uh, uh, ah! But you don't have a recipe. Princesses don't need recipes. We're amazing at everything we do. Right, Grismos? Uh, okay, but don't forget the cake is the most important part of our party. Obvi. That's why I'm in charge of it. Okay, Grismos, you heard Bartleby. Mellowberry's out and Stranello Wiggly Jiggly Jelly Bubble Chew Icing is in. Where's my super fast ever rise powder? Let's add more. More is better. Good with the decorations? Okay, great. Talk to you soon. All aboard the Mushroom Town Birthday Express. Hey, yeah! Everyone's on their way? You bet. Right on schedule. Great! Hey, Bingo Bango! You know the way, right? You turn left at the never ending forest? Um, okay, I'll take that as a yes. Who's ready for ice cream lunch? Ice cream for lunch? We can do that? Sure, it's your birthday. Let's put the scream in ice cream birthday lunch. Perfect. Ready to bake. Uh, uh. Ugh, what are you Grismos doing? Step aside. This needs a princess's delicate touch. Baking would be hard if I wasn't so good at it. Okay, Bartleby. I think that's enough. Just one last thing to top it off. A fishy poof cracker. Whoa. Whoa. to my party. Ah, uh, you weren't gonna wear that anyway. Cuz we're gonna get you a new outfit! Really? But only after you finish all your ice cream. Challenge accepted. No, 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 no. This simply won't do. 
We need to make it pop. Because all together, more is better. Nothing's going to stop this express bus to True's birthday party. Except for this delicious goo. Hey, what's the hold up? I gotta get to True's party. Pardon me, I have a party to attend. Can you please move it along? Yeah, well, what's going on? Okay, this is perfect. Ready to see my new birthday suit? Is it as cute as mine? <laughs> In that fabulous outfit, you are going to rock this party. What's that? I don't know, but we better go check it out. What's going on? A traffic jam? Drew's party bus. Oh, hello, Rainbow City bus. Shouldn't you be on your way to someplace very important? Mayhaps. Well, I should, but as you can see... <laughs> I'm stuck in this delicious goo. It does smell yummy. It is yummy. And it tastes a lot like bubble chew icing. Griselda! Oh. Well, that's wiggly and jiggly enough for a regular cake eater. But this cake needs to be princess level wiggly jiggly. More is better. Hey, Griselda, do you know anything about some bubble chew icing traffic jam? Bartleby, I'm in the middle of making the most important cake of my career. I need my space. I'll talk to you later. But, but... Toodles! Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Ah! 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 are fine. You don't really need to do any hero stuff today, do you? I don't know, B, but let's go and check it out anyway. What happened? Is everything okay? These trees are blocking your path? Hmm. Well, maybe the three of us can move it. Ah, true. Can it wait? We still have that ooey-gooey traffic jam to clean up. If we don't help, no one will be able to come through the forest. <laughs> bingo, bingo. Party decorations. We need to move this tree right now. <laughs> That's the spirit. It's too heavy. <laughs> this isn't working. Time for some wish help. To the wishing tree. Happy birthday, True. I, uh, wasn't expecting to see you until your party. The party will have to wait, Z. There was some kind of earthquake. Yeah, we felt it up here, too. It knocked over trees in the never-ending forest, and no one could get around. And there's a sticky situation in Rainbow City. A sticky, gooey situation. And it's causing a huge traffic jam. Oh, that does sound serious. But sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first we need to get the trees back upright in the never-ending forest. Yeah, and let's not forget, they're super heavy. Then, we have to get the gooey glob off the Rainbow City streets. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree. Oh, <laughs> 
until you see what the Wishipedia says about these. First up is Lifto. Lifto! This wish is incredibly strong. It can lift anything you place on top of it. Just give it a spin. Wow! Lifto, you can help us get all the trees standing again. Lifto! And next we have... Pumpa. Pumpa! This wish can blow air into anything, like a flat tire. Or a balloon bouquet. Pumpa! Or a giant gooey glob like the one causing the traffic jam. Maybe Pumpa can blow it into a bubble and float it away. Pumpa! Oh, you're gonna love this one. Meet Kakaraka, one of the most powerful wishes of all. Kakaraka! Kakaraka is a bursting wish that can help break large things into smaller pieces. Wow! I'm not sure how I can use Kakaraka just yet, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Good luck, you two. Okay, we're back. Thanks for waiting. Let's see if we can move these trees off the road for you. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Lifto. Wish come true. Hey-ho, Lifto. <laughs> We need you to lift them back up again. Which will clear the path and allow everyone to get where they need to go. <laughs> oh, I'm just excited about getting people moving again. Go Important than taking uh, care of my beautiful skin. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hi, everyone. True. Thank goodness. I don't think I can eat any more of this delicious goo. Okay. Time for my second wish. Giant Glob has really gooed up our friends. Ready to help clean it up? Pumpa! Great! I bet we can blow a huge bubble out of that goo. Pumpa power, go! Oh, yay! <laughs> Pumpa! Thanks, Pumpa. That really blew me away. Now back in the back. Thanks, Drew. See you later. You're welcome. Bye. Well, I was hoping you wouldn't need to do any of that hero stuff today, but you took care of that pretty easily. I did, didn't I? Hey, Griselda. Uh, true. I wish you the most happy birthday. Ah! Uh. Aw, thanks, Griselda. May I please talk to Bartleby about nothing to do with cakes? Sure thing. <laughs> okay, what is it, Griselda? Bartleby! This cake is not doing what I told it to do. Stay! No! Bad cake! The words bad and cake are not something I want to hear. What's going on? Well, it turns out more is not always better. The Stronilla cake layer is a bit bigger than I expected. 
Like, oops, it's so big we're gonna be eating cake for a week. More like, oops, it's too big for the oven. And the kitchen. And maybe the house. Ah, come quick, I'm not sure I can hold this much longer. Ah! What was that? That is... Super huge birthday cake? Super huge, totally on purpose birthday cake. B, you shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. Uh, that'll be for me. Bartleby, the strangest thing just happened. I'm suspended in this scrumptious vanilla sponge cake. I've been stuck in a traffic jam before, but never a traffic jelly. This cake is going straight to Fergie's obedience school. I believe Hi, True. Hmm. There might be a small problem with the party. Oh, you mean that giant birthday cake that fell over on Mushroom Town and has all our birthday guests stuck inside the delicious ooey-gooey icing? Uh-huh. That wasn't part of my plan. True, I hate to ruin your day, but I think I really need your help now. It's okay, Bee. Helping people is my favorite thing to do. Oh, Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo. We've got a cake problem. To the Mushroom Town. This cake is huge. And it looks delicious, too. Should we just eat our way through? Because I'd be okay with that. Well, as yummy as that sounds, it might take too long. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Kakaraka! Wish come true! Hi, Kakaraka! We have a giant cake problem. We need your help. Kakaraka! Ready, Kakaraka? Kakaraka! We're rooting for you, Kakaraka! Kakaraka! Okay, now wait for my signal. On my count. Three, two, one. And besides, you don't even have a cake. Bartleby, I had the most incredible day. Mostly because I got to spend it with you. I love the picnic and the ice cream lunch. And I love my outfit. Everything you did today came from your heart. And that made this the best birthday ever. Huh? What? Anyone's had a birthday party like this before. Kakaraka! Way to go, Kakaraka! Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, birthday true. true! Best, Best party, party ever! This party is amazing! Thanks, everyone! This is even better than the best birthday party ever, and it's all thanks to Bartleby. Great, Great job, Bartleby! Bartleby. Ah, shucks. Thanks, True. You deserve it. True? Hey, where'd you go? And now for your birthday entertainment. Whoa. May I please present to you our great guest of honor. Whoa. It's true's birthday, happy birthday, true. It's true's birthday, 
Can I please? Okay, can I please, 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 please look? Okay. Open your eyes. True. That is the most... I mean, it's just so... How did you... Okay, I have no idea what this is. What is it? It's my invention for the Maker Shaker Expo. I call it the I Heart You Bubblegram. It's magnificent! I love it! Watch this. Wait for it. Wow! Are those sugar glitter swirls? <gasps> a heart? For me? Even better! A heart you can eat! You sure know the way to my heart, True. Mm, mm, mm. You're gonna win the sunshine ribbon for sure! Thanks, Bee. Winning would be nice, but I'm just excited to see what everyone else has made. True! I just heard about this maker, shaker, whatever thingy. You need to help me win the sunshine ribbon! Griselda, you can win it without my help. You always make cool stuff, like your giant Grisbot! No, no, no! True! Something less stompy. Grizzbots are so passe. I've been trying to come up with an idea, but the Grizzmos are being so loud carving my wall of me. Well, it didn't quite capture my... I don't know what. Do it again. Talk later, True. Uh, what's this? Green? Crystals? Gross! I only work with pink. Ugh! Bouncy green crystals? Now that I can work with! I need you to... Okay, I need you to make me an invention! A thousand silver salutations! Welcome to the Maker Shaker Expo! The winner takes hold the spectacular Sunshine Ribbon! Yeah. Now, don't forget to vote for your favorite invention. Oh, that means me too. Indigo Inventions. True, this is remarkable. What is it? This is my I Heart You Bubblegram! Ooh, how does it work? Allow me to show you. Oh, and a snack, too. <laughs> Lovely lavender! I bubble heart you, too. Now, shall we see what everyone else has come up with? Yes! yes! Let's go! Mellow yellow. A soothing rock fountain? Look how the water comes up right through the rocks. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mila. What's your invention? Have you ever thought that one high five just isn't enough? Always. But you'll love this. Presenting the High Five Hat for when you're feeling under fived. Spring loaded high fives? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That's five times the fun. Who wants to try Bubbly's Azuni juice? A juice bubbler? I have to see how this works. Oh, this'll be fine. I just push the button here, the bubbles bubble up, and they come out here. <laughs> Purple buttons. Cheers! Cheers! Excuse, Excuse you! you. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello, little helpers. What did you make? I've got my own personal cleaning machine. <laughs> That's also very impressive. Ah! Bee, it's Griselda's invention. Let's go check it out.
They're so boingy. Excuse me, would you please sign my bling bling? Of course. <laughs> Bouncy bling blings, invented by yours truly, Princess Griselda. Griselda, can you show me how your machine works? Works? I have no idea how it works. Details are so not my thing. Details are exactly my thing. Okay, let's see now. First, the Grismos carry the green crystals up the ladder and put them into the hopper. Then it seems like the crystals get all smooshed up into a green goo. Right, and that green goo gets rolled up into a ball, which comes out the front. What was that? Water spews into the river. Hmm, this doesn't look quite right. I don't think this is normal. We should go ask Griselda. Griselda, did you know that? I'm the best inventor. Yes, smiley face. Now, what did you want me to sign? Actually, B and I were just at the back of your machine, and it looks like... You were saying how cool the back of my machine is? Well, actually, there's green... Polka dots on these bling-blings? I don't normally go for green, but these dots are too adorbs. Winky face. So, are we gonna tell her about the green water thingy? I don't know, B. Griselda's really enjoying this. I don't want to ruin it for her. Come on, let's go see who's going to win the sunshine ribbon. Yeah, maybe green water's good for the river. I am delighted to announce the best invention of the Maker Shaker Expo. The winner of the sunshine ribbon is... Please, 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 please. I'd like to thank everyone who helped me. But since I did it all myself, I'll just thank me. <laughs> Where did you get the idea for these bouncing bling blings? They're fantastically fun and so pretty. I based them mostly on myself. Griselda! Griselda! seen this before. Or this. And especially this. Yay! <laughs> hey, you look like a bouncy bling bling. Hey, you look like a bouncy bling bling. <laughs> Big. Those aren't bling blings. Those are people. <laughs> Perplexing pistachio. This water's green. Rainbow King, are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Just a little wet and round and bouncy. Okay, what is going on? People are turning into bouncy bling. Come again. It happened to the Rainbow King after he was splashed by that green river water. <gasps> Griselda's machine! We need to stop this before everyone turns into bling blings. Then let's ask Griselda to turn off the machine. Hey, Griselda! We can't. Why not? She's having such a fun time with this. Also, she doesn't know how the machine works, so telling her wouldn't help. Smiley face! So how do we stop the water? Well, we know how the machine works. We can fix it. Here, grab on. <laughs> Why put a turny thing on here if it won't turn? <laughs> uh -oh. We've got to stop this. We need some wish help. Oh, Cumulo! To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Have you seen these bouncy bling blings? Aren't they fun? They are fun, but people are turning 
into them. Wow, that's super fun. But you seem worried. Explain, please. Griselda's machine is turning all the water green, and some people got splashed by it. And then they became polka dotted. And it gets worse, they inflated. And then they started bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. Just, just like the bouncy bling blings. Wandering wormholes. But sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, Griselda's really proud of her invention, so we need a way to stop the green water without having to tell her. Right, and I'm sure you can with some wish help. We also need a way to unboing the boinging citizens. They'll keep bouncing forever if we don't get them back to normal. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. <sighs> wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree. are spectacular, True. Let's see what the Wishipedia says about them. First stop is Tie Tie. This wish can tie itself into all sorts of knots. Great! Tie Tie, you can help tie up our loose ends. Tie Tie! Oh, Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. Bumbershoot, you can help catch the bouncing citizens. Uh-huh, Bumbershoot. <gasps> this is one of my favorite wishes. Cubigly. Great to see you again, Cubigly. Cubigly. Cubigly has a jiggly, gelatinous body that can absorb anything into it. Hmm, I don't know how Cubigly can help stop the green water or the boinging citizens, but I'm sure we can put your gooey center to good use. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. See you later. <laughs> now let's put a stop to this green water. Time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo. I choose you. Wake up, Ty Ty. Wish come. Ty Ty, I need you to give the pipe a big hug. Yes! Bye bye, green water. Where's a high five hat when you need one? Yay! I want to be bouncy too. My insides feel jiggly. I'm tired. I don't know how to bounce anymore. Indigo insomnia. This is ruining my <laughs> royal hat. Hang in there. We're going to figure this out. Oh, Cumulo! Take us up, please. Whoa. Never get tired of that, Cumulo. Time for my second wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Bumbershoot. Bumbershoot. Wish come true. Hi, Bumbershoot. I need your help to catch and hold down those boingy citizens. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Bumbershoot. Are you sure this is gonna work? Only one way to find out. Roll over, Cumulo. Woohoo! Ah! Grab on to Bumbershoot! Okay, Bumbershoot, now! Bumbershoot! It worked! Everyone stopped bouncing! Oh, great! Thank you for unbouncing!
teaching us true. I couldn't have done it without Bumbershoot. You were super helpful. Remaster! Now tuck yourself back in. Okay, now stay put. If you move, you'll start balancing again. Um, true. I think Tai Tai is about to untai Tai. Oh no. Okay, it's finally time to tell Griselda to turn her machine off. My tummy is all jiggly. Bubbly Zazuni juice to calm your belly storm. Hmm, that just might settle it. <laughs> Excuse me. Huh, ten percent less jiggly. Make that twenty percent. What's your name? Here you go. Puffy face. Next. A lineup. Griselda. 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 Bunny ears. Next. She can't hear us. We need to get past this crowd. Sounds like a job for a stealth kitty naughty master. Follow me. Almost there. <laughs> so, how many fishy poop crackers for me and a friend to get to see the princess next? ran through the machine. Bouncing blinglings weren't the only thing that came out. Green water gushed out of the back and into the river, turning it green. The green water ran through the city and any citizens that touched it blew up like blinglings. They started bouncing higher and higher and higher and higher, so we had to jump off Cumulo to catch them with Bumbershoot, which was super scary. Then we ran to tell you to turn off the machine, but the Grismo said no and we said please, and the Grismo said no and we said pretty please, and then they said no, so we waited in line until it was our turn to see you and we said, Griselda, you're turning people into blinglings! <sighs> Nice job, B. Um, what's happening? It's gonna blow! Everyone die! <laughs> I'm... I'm... Polka Dotty! I'm... Bloaty! What's happening to me? She's way bouncier than the others. Cue Sounds yummy. It really does, doesn't it? Less talking, more saving! Take us down, Cumulo! It's time for my third wish. Wow, you're not boingy anymore? 
Nope! A bubbly Zazuni burp did the trick. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I can do that trick. <laughs> Excuse me. Farmer Mosser, juice ball me, please. One juice ball coming at you. Uh, huh. mm -hmm. What's up? Why aren't you burping? Are you kidding? Burping is very unprincessly. But if you don't burp, you'll stay like that forever. I will do many things, but I will never. Uh... Pardon me. Well, I won't be doing that ever again. I'm me again! Oh! <laughs> Thanks, Q-Biggly. You too, Ty Ty. You were both super helpful. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! You're welcome, Griselda. Oh, and about my machine. I'm sorry it caused all that trouble. I'm sorry too, Griselda. I should have told you about the green water in the first place. <sighs> I really will miss all that selfie taking and autograph signing. If only there was a way to fix the green water problem. Hold on, I have an idea. It worked! The little helper's cleaning machine did the trick. You're a genius, True. Thanks, Bartleby. It sure is nice to have everything back to normal. Next, everything back to normal, 